Well, hello and welcome to Solid Jamaz. This is a show for men. The word solid, you know what it means. It means substance, means foundation. Jamaz is a Swahili slang word that means the brothers, the comrades. And so this is a show for men. And we do believe that conversations will always instruct. Conversations will reveal, they will inform, they will inspire, and they will motivate us. And today, more than anything, more than anything ever, men need to engage in conversations that will help us to grow and to get to the desirable stature in this world. And therefore, solid Jamaz mass offers a safe place where we can come and we can discuss our things. Catch an episode every single Monday of the weekend. If you have anything that you want us to discuss, you can reach us out on solidjamaz at gmail.com or you can check us out on any of our social media pages on Instagram, on Twitter and on Facebook. And we'll have these conversations going on. It's a conversations for men. Enjoy the show. Until you don't worry, no matter thing. Cause every little thing's gonna be alright. Every little thing. Yeah, come I on now. Said I woke up this morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. Okay, not good night. <laughs> My friend here is jamming to uh, Bob Marley. Don't worry about a thing, every don't little worry. thing is going to be yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, I say don't worry about a thing. I wish I knew how to harmonize. Because everything is going to be all right. Yeah. Me tell you don't worry No matter thing Cause every little thing Gonna be alright Hello, 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 hello all The solution wants my wise man from the east <laughs> May bless you up there yeah. And me say now nah, worry <laughs> <laughs> You know it's amazing uh, That language, is, it sounds so nice It's like You know those, those languages That are not necessarily Uh Flat. Yeah. That one is a unique language, and the the one the Nigerians and the Ghanaians. The pigeon. Yeah. You know, it's cute. It's a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole vibe. Yeah. But also, it's, not, it's not an original language, really, isn't it? The, no, no. It's it's, it's one. Of, it's what they call a synthetic language. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pigeon, Creole, mm-hmm. Swahili. Yeah. There's a synthetic no, the, language. Swahili is is oh so the, now Swahili has even morphed because yeah. in Kenya they they have, they have Shen. Shen, Yeah. Yeah. So um this is the thing when you put two human beings from whichever culture yeah. together yeah they have to communicate yeah so a synthetic language is what happens it, it when picks. you put two people from different or people from different cultures together yeah and then they create a language mm. from different they create one language by picking, picking from each pieces other. from different languages yeah, yeah, yeah. so when you listen to pigeon yeah it's English. English. It it's, is uh, uh, Nigerian. Nigerian. There is Yoruba. Chubi, Yoruba in there. Yeah. And yeah. then the same thing uh, with uh, Patwa. Yeah. So yes, uh, uh, Patwa is, is from where? That's from um, the Caribbean. 
yeah, what, yeah, what's yeah, Popo yeah, in Jamaica? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, it's but, cute, man. It's but cute. you know what's amazing? Eh? Yeah. Um, because we talked about African identity. Right. In one of those episodes, I think it was episode eight. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, discussing the redefining the quintessential African mm. man. Mm-hmm. So it's an interesting thing. Mm-hmm. I find that uh, when you look at pigeon, mm. which is what the Nigerians speak, mm. and you look at uh, patois, which is what the Jamaicans, the Jamaicans speak, speak yeah. there are very many similarities. Yeah, it's interesting, and. Pigeons. Nigerians and Ghanaians, by the yes, way. Yes, it's so big that BBC has... Uh, yeah, it has a page, a whole page for it, it ha- news channel in Pigeon. In Pigeon. That's how big it is. Yeah. So now, get this. In Jamaica, mm-hmm. they teach them this one thing. That they are the biggest deal. Mm-hmm. Like, have you ever found any Jamaican wanting to be anything other than Jamaican? No, no, no. no. That's and yet not here like... we are, all of us, why don't we sound like Jamaican? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, we love, we love. <laughs> see, so that says something about what because they were talking about what you're talking about what yeah and i found an interesting similarity between jamaicans mm-hmm. and nigerians mm-hmm. anywhere you go in the world you will identify a nigerian these guys are bigger than life they have a bigger than life they are not ego going to any minute apologize no. for who they are no yeah so Someone told me that in Jamaica they teach them that yeah. being Jamaican is a big deal. It's a big deal. Yeah. And so they go about their life, however small their island is, mm-hmm. anywhere you see a Jamaican turn up, yo, it's a, it's, it's a vibe, it's mm-hmm. a thing. He anywhere you see there. a Nigerian turn up, it's yeah. a thing. Yeah. And so I, I think um, many Jamaicans came out of Nigeria. That's what I like to think. <laughs> 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 that yeah. These are these are our grandchildren, yeah, of um, of, of great African sons from the West, West Africa. Yes, and yeah. and they have that thing in them. Yeah, anywhere they turn. Let up, me tell you a story. You some, yeah. I had maybe I had a preacher who I read somewhere in the Bible, or uh, not in the Bible, in in uh, in one of these books. This this uh, you know remember the slave trade, mm-hmm. guys being shipped from Africa to to the Caribbeans and to to Americas and so on and so forth. Mm. Buffalo soldier. Yeah. And so um they 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 made a mistake, quote unquote made a mistake and they got this prince, an African prince, mm. shipped him. So when they got there, right? These guys were being, you know the way you break a man's will and so on and so forth. Mm. Made to sit down and behave like you are a nobody and so on. Told us poor were forced to have sex with their mothers. Yeah, yeah, mm. you told me that. And so these guys, now this is the ceremony as in when they're being brought in. They're, they're being brought in and they're, they're being settled. Mm. They're being forced to sit down. But the prince doesn't want to sit down. Yeah. Belligerent refuses to sit down. He he stands up. Contact in Yeah, he knows who he is. Yeah. And so the owner saw what was going on, the scuffle that was going on. The guy is being beaten up, but he, he he's standing up. What's wrong with the boy? The owner got this reply. They they told him back home he's a son of a prince. I mean as a son of a king and he hasn't forgotten it. That's what wow. That's what. Yeah. That it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter what the circumstances look like, it doesn't matter what situation you find yourself in. Yeah. Deep inside there you is You know who you are. A thing of value. That's what we talked about the last time, you yeah. know. That there's a diamond inside of yeah, every man. Yeah, yeah. You Whether know? it's in it's rough, it's a diamond. It's a diamond. At the end, at the end of the day. It might, it might be, be unclothed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not prepared. Yeah. But it's still there, it's a it's a diamond. That's and most and I do thing. believe that there's no way God created guys who are not worth. No. Who don't have worth. I think every human being, every man out there, every girl out there, we have worth. I think it would be the sorriest thing ever. Let's just uh, remove God out of the equation for for, for a minute. Mm-hmm. Talk about yourself. Mm. Imagine you, just as a human being, mm. coming up with something, probably a living thing that doesn't have worth. Can you even begin to do that? I mean, would you even be, would you even be motivated to do it? Would you even, where would you get the motivation to bring up something that doesn't have worth? No, it's do a people waste. do that? No, 
people don't do that. People, the thing that people bring up they, and then they put their names on it, it's something worth something, right? You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't impose a name or your name, you don't impel your name on something which you don't care about. I mean, I'm here holding your book. Yeah. Uh, this is probably one. The first book that you ever That's wrote? That's the first book I wrote. Turn your setbacks into major comebacks. Yeah. This was before you knew how to shorten tight. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I found this quote um, very interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's a poem. Mm-hmm. by Marianne Williamson. Yeah. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Mm-hmm. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Mm-hmm. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Mm-hmm. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, mm-hmm. gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Yeah. Who am I? Yeah. Get that question. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Actually, who are you not to be? Mm-hmm. You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. Mm. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. Mm. We were born to make manifest the glory of God Mm. that is within us. Mm. It is not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And as we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates the others. And you see, she's talking about the power of our self-worth mm. to unlock other people's mm. self-worth. Mm. And you know, when she asked, who are you not to be? Mm. And I think this is where many people find themselves as men, mm. you know, shrinking that word, that, that for me, that's the key word right there. Shrinking. shrinking. Yeah. Shrinking. And um, have we introduced ourselves though? We will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, like, like, I could just got into it. Yeah. Shrinking. Shrinking, shrinking. You see? You know, that's the problem of, of, uh, of um, following the spirit so to speak because this was not scripted this wasn't in the script you the know pigeon, going yeah. <laughs> the pigeon the 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 the, the jamaican the, the, the what, what do you call that language patwa the patwa yeah. they, they were not in the script mm. they just started and we found ourselves just flowing so um today we want to talk about wife again go back to the the, the shrinking marianne williamson yes and, and she says the, that quote says there is nothing uh, what, what does she say it, it doesn't serve anyone for you to play small that you shrink so that other people don't feel inadequate Inadequate. that's that's the same thing you're talking about the Nigerians mm. and the Jamaicans, they don't shrink no one, they don't shrink it's it's and it's, you, not like, it's not like it's not like it's pride, it's not some, some form of pride, it's just the authentic Blueprint. Blueprint of, of their glory. Yes. <laughs> that is who they are. These are bigger than life yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. characters. You know, anywhere you turn up, you find a Nigerian. Mm-hmm. Yo, mm. it's, a, it's a vibe. It's a thing. Anywhere you turn up, I have, I have Jamaican friends. I have Nigerian friends. And big up to my friend, Chinedu. Chinedu. Yeah, I have a friend called Chinedu. We met in, we met in Kenya in 2019 and I went for the... For the twin, for the fearless cons, uh, conference at Mavuno Church. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you know, we, we just uh, found ourselves sharing uh, an Airbnb. Yeah. One night, mm. just the guy just falls in late in the night. It's it's just buster us, you know. Yeah. And then the next day, we find ourselves again going to the same place, and then we we connected yeah. at a very very deep level. Yeah, yeah. And this man told me something. Mm. He said, "Yo, solution, go and tell you something." Nigeria has all the money for africa <laughs> we have the money <laughs> and i was so convinced about this thing yeah. and he told me if Niger- if the nigerian church understood the power mm. that god has given it mm. for africa mm. africa will change mm. and then we were talking about big cars in in, in kenya yeah and he said nah this is a small car it's true come over it's true come over see and yeah. he told me about a man who Went to to America for holiday. Came back with with two G wagons, you know, one for him and one for his for his wife. Yeah, like, yeah. he went for a holiday. Came yeah. back with cars. Yeah. So, this is something that is deeply in. It's deeply in. Bed.